In 1957, Father Augustine Fuentes met Sister Lucia in the convent of Coimbra, Portugal. During that meeting, Father Fuentes had a long conversation with Sister Lucia. Sister Lucia confided in him previously undisclosed details about the secrets of Fatima and the prophecies of the Madonna that extend to the present day. Father Fuentes disseminated her words, and today we are able to listen to them. Before we listen to Sister Lucia's words, I invite you to subscribe to the channel and become part of the community of faith and prayer. Here are Sister Lucia's words, recorded by Father Fuentes. Father, the Blessed Virgin is very sad because no one has paid attention to her, neither the good nor the wicked. The good continue on the path of goodness, but without paying attention to this message. The wicked, due to their sins, do not see the punishment of God that is already falling upon them at the moment, but they also continue on their path of evil, ignoring the message. But Father, you must believe that God is about to punish the world and chastise it terribly. The punishment from heaven is imminent, the year 1960 is near, and what will happen will be very sad for everyone and far from being a happy event if the world does not pray and do penance before then. I cannot provide further details because it is still a secret by the will of the Blessed Virgin. Only the Holy Father and the Bishop of Fatima can know the secret, although they have chosen not to reveal it in order to avoid being influenced by it. This is the third part of the message from Our Lady, which remains secret until 1960. Tell them, Father, that the Blessed Virgin has repeated to my cousins Francisco and Jacinta, as well as to me, that many nations will disappear from the face of the earth, and that Russia will be the instrument of heavenly punishment for the whole world if the conversion of that poor nation is not obtained beforehand. Father, the devil is fighting a decisive battle against the Virgin, and as you know, what offends God the most and earns him the greatest number of souls in the shortest time is to conquer the souls consecrated to God, thus leaving the field of the laity defenseless and allowing the devil to easily take them. Tell them also, Father, that my cousins Francisco and Jacinta made sacrifices because they always saw that the Blessed Virgin was very sad in all her apparitions. She never smiled at us. This anguish that we saw in her, caused by the outrages against God and the punishments that threatened sinners, penetrated our souls. Being children, we did not know what measures to take other than to pray and make sacrifices. For this reason, Father, it is my mission not only to speak about the material punishments that will surely come upon the earth if the world does not pray and do penance. No. My mission is to warn everyone of the imminent danger we face of losing our souls for eternity if we remain attached to sin. Father, we should not wait for a call to the world from Rome by the Holy Father to do penance, nor should we wait for a call for penance from the bishops in our diocese or from our religious congregations. Our Lord has often used these means, and the world has not paid attention. Now each one of us must begin to do penance spiritually. Each one of us must save not only our own soul, but also all the souls that God has placed on our path. Father, the Blessed Virgin did not explicitly tell me that we are in the last times of the world, but I have understood it for three reasons. The first reason is that she told me that the devil is engaging in a battle with the Virgin, a decisive battle. It is a final battle in which one of the two sides will be victorious and the other will suffer defeat. From this moment on, we are either with God or with the devil. There is no middle ground. The second reason is that she told me, as well as my cousins, that God is giving the world two final remedies, the Holy Rosary and devotion to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Being the final remedies means that there will be no others. And the third reason is that, according to the plans of divine providence, when God is about to chastise the world, he always exhausts all other remedies first. When he sees that the world is not paying any attention, then, as we say in our imperfect way of speaking, with a certain fear, he presents to us the last means of salvation, his Blessed Mother. If we despise and reject this last means, heaven will not forgive us anymore, for we will have committed a sin that the gospel calls a sin against the Holy Spirit. This sin consists of openly, knowingly, and willingly rejecting the salvation that is offered to us. Moreover, because our Lord is a very good son, he will not allow us to offend and despise his blessed mother. Prayer and sacrifice are the two means to save the world. 
As for the Holy Rosary, Father, in these last times in which we live, the Blessed Virgin has granted a new efficacy to the recitation of the Holy Rosary. Thus, there is no problem that cannot be solved by praying the Rosary, no matter how difficult it may be, whether it is temporal or especially spiritual. With the Holy Rosary, we will be saved, we will be sanctified, we will consult the Lord, and we will obtain the salvation of many souls. Then there is the devotion to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, our Most Holy Mother, considering it as the seed of mercy, goodness, and forgiveness, and as the secure gate to enter Paradise. This is the first part of the message. The second part refers to the Holy Father. These are the words of Sister Lucia. Let us know in the comments what you think. See you soon.